the study findings, you find that majority of the respondents were male, which is uh, consistent with the national demographics in terms of employment, and 27% uh, were female. Uh, most of the officers were young, 60% were below 35 years, so in terms of uh, maintenance of uh, law and order, and more so in public uh, order control, you find that these are young, energetic officers uh, who are very vibrant, and uh, they can be able to do anything based on the police culture, as we will see later on. Now, in terms of public order control uh, training, <coughs> uh, we know that basically policing of public order is also a very difficult task for the police, given that most of these assemblies, uh, the participants are either dynamic or static or they are both, and uh, sometimes you may not be able uh, to identify <coughs> uh, who is who. And so the Kenyan constitution and international human rights law require that police officers are properly trained to be able to uh, understand uh, how to effectively use force, especially during these public order control, <coughs> so that they don't uh, violate some of the fundamental rights of uh, the citizens. So we, 85% of those officers who were interviewed said they had participated in public order control, while 15 uh, or so had not participated. And uh, for those who had participated, uh, we further inquired if they have ever had any specialized training, especially in public order control. <clears throat> and we realized that 72% said they have never had any other specialized training. <clears throat> and this basically means that the officers were applying the training that they acquired during the initial recruit uh, training. And this is uh, a dangerous situation because uh, most of the officers must have left uh, college a long time ago and uh, we know that the kind of training that the officers undergo while they are recruits is confrontational in nature. 